Hey guys, welcome to 2018 and also welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at a state machine that we're giving out. Actually, we're just putting that open source so we can all um, work on it or just like just use it in general. So let me quickly introduce you to what the state machine is. I know I'm currently in Overwatch. I'll just tab out real quick. And um, we now have a... Well, this project is now live. So if you want to go download it, it's in the description down below. But we have a nice little state machine. Really basic at the moment. Doesn't have anything uh, really special. No fireworks, no big effects. But let me give you a look at how this actually plays out. So we have a, um, we have a simple player running around here. He has three states right now. Walking, jumping, and falling. Jumping and falling are separate for... Uh, just to have more leverage in the end. So this is a normal state machine. It is the whole code right now behind it is meant so we can copy the base movement of Overwatch. So if you see on the floor, I can actually move around super, super fast. Now, if I jump, I do have a little bit of influence left and right, depending in which direction I start my jump in or if I just don't put any direction at all. Now, there is also uh, moving platform support. This is something that is quite annoying if you ever try to do a, um, a character controller in the past. You're going to notice that these are the worst, but they work just fine if we have a look here on the left hand side. And yeah, so this is uh, this is basically in the description down below. If you want to go, you can download it and uh, support slopes, support all that kind of stuff. There is a little bit of tweaking to be done on the base motor. Uh, base motor is really just the base logic for everything uh, driving this, but this is something I'll constantly be working on and if you'd like to actually help you're free to do so okay now the way this is going to work is quite simple we have the gitlab over here if you'd like to download it of course you go on gitlab the link is going to be in the description down below you can uh, download directly as a zip or you can clone it um, directly with git so this is something i'll be working on of course right now this is the first version of course it, it can be still used for some kind of game if you're, you're trying to prototype something uh you're, you're trying to be quick you can use that if you want. Um, it works good. It has a lot of code behind it. Maybe it's not the best thing if you want to try to make like a very, very simple game. So let me quickly go through like the big lines here uh, under the base motor. So um, just having a look at the field, we have uh, Raycast. Raycast check if we're grounded or not. So uh, our grounded check is not through the controller. It's actually through uh, Raycast. We have a couple of fields here, so you can change the speed, the gravity, jump force, how fast you can fall, and so on. We're using, of course, a character controller. I did not want to use a rigid body for this one. Um, and then we have moving platform support, as you could see. And a couple of other fields you can actually play around with. I'll go ahead and document this before I push, but um, it should be a little bit un easier to understand um, once those are pushed. So the way this works is quite simple. We have an update loop. Right now, this is under player motor, which in air from base motor and in that update loop we grab the input of the player so we grab the input of your keyboard or your joystick um, well, whatever your Xbox controller right and then we send that over to a state so we hear state process motion and that state determines where you should be going so um, in walking this is what happens to your input in falling this is what happens to your input and this is how we do it. So it's quite simple to just create a new state on top of it. Say you have a special level in your game that uh, your main character has to go down a volcano on a snowboard, something like that. You can actually create a state for this, use it once, and then just never touch it again. So this is possible using this kind of uh, state machine. Oh, Alright, now shit. why am I in Overwatch? Why did I start you? this video uh, while playing Overwatch? It's quite simple. This movement set, the base motor, is actually based off these controls I'm playing in uh, right now so fast movement on the ground you have a little bit of influence when you're in the air depending on where you jump and um, the rest is something we have to create as time goes so in the in the channel like a little bit in the future if you haven't watched yesterday's Dragon video I'd like to recreate a bunch of those different character in overwatch and actually apply those movement set those ability to the um, the state machine you just saw so like the hook the movement behind this, all something I want to do so we can have a nice controller that can a little bit copy what Overwatch is doing, not just for Black Widow, why do I keep calling her Black Widow, not just for Widowmaker, but also for, say, Genji that has the double jump, something we already have, um, and also wall climb into double jump, into, I don't know, slash. So, 
All of these are things we want to do in the future. Of course, we need a strong base, and the base motor that I, I showed you earlier is a really good start, and we're going to be working on that. So guys, if you just want to go grab that, play around with it, feel free to do so. Of course, it doesn't look as good as Overwatch right now, but uh, I think we can work on this and actually make it look great. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great 2018 thus far, and I will catch you really, really soon with a um, an actual live stream. I'll be live streaming um, development on this tool. We'll go ahead and we'll create some new states and uh, just go from there. Maybe I'll explain a little bit more how this works because I know I haven't been really uh, going into the technicals right now, but it's something that I'd like to do uh, in the live stream because it's going to take quite a while. This is not a, a simple system to understand. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.